Now to dramatic testimony from the man who killed Ahmad Arbery. Under questioning from the prosecution, Travis McMichael admitted that Arbery had never actually threatened him before Arbery was gunned down. CBS News has exclusive new details about this trial. Omar Villafranca is outside the courthouse in Brunswick, Georgia, with more. Omar, good morning. Can't wait to hear. Good morning. Travis McMichael was on the stand for a second day of cross-examination, and then defense attorneys rested their case. But before they did that, one of the defense attorneys reached out to the prosecution offering a plea deal. The prosecutors went and talked to the Arbery family, and ultimately, that request was denied. The prosecution is confident and the defense is showing some cracks. Arbery family attorney Lee Merritt told us lawyers for William Roddy Bryan, the man who filmed the shooting and admitted to pursuing and boxing in Ahmaud Arbery, asked prosecutors for a plea deal late Thursday. What does that tell you? That he's concerned about the strength of the state's case. I guess the prosecution turned it down flat out. They want all three of them. Yeah, he's as culpable as the other two. That request came after the prosecution drilled down on several key points during Travis McMichael's second day on the stand. How many times have you pulled up on strangers that you don't know next to them with a pickup truck to ask them what they're doing in your neighborhood? I don't think I have in that situation. Including the 25-year-old Arbery had never threatened either of the McMichaels or Brian before they chased the unarmed black man. He has not threatened you? No. Hasn't pulled out a gun? No, ma'am. Hasn't pulled out a knife. He did not. Still arms at his sides. That's correct. And he's trying to get away from you. And I was letting him run away, yes ma'am. Prosecutors argued that McMichael could have let Arbery go. Instead, Brian's cell phone video shows McMichael outside his truck, shotgun in hand, moving around his vehicle to approach Arbery. I was thinking that he was a threat, that he might, he's going, might go after myself, my father, or the truck. So you're telling this jury that a man who has spent five minutes running away from you, you're now thinking is somehow going to want to continue to engage with you, someone with a shotgun, and your father, a man who's just said, stop or I'll blow your head off, by trying to get in their truck? That's what it shows, yes ma'am. We reached out to Roddy Bryan's attorney, but have not heard back. Closing arguments will get underway on Monday. Tony? Omar, thank you very much.